My name is Brie Aldridge. I'm an assistant professor at Tufts University. We study the bacteria and the host cells involved in tuberculosis. And my lab is focused on trying to see if we can understand what's different about the bacteria that survive longer with drug treatment from the bacteria that are killed quickly. And we hope to use that information to design shorter, more effective drug therapies. One thing that my lab does is a lot of live cell microscopy. So to do that, we uh, put cells um, bacteria in these little microfluidic devices. So essentially this is like a rubbery substance with holes in it and a channel inside and we inject mycobacteria, the causative agent of TB, into these devices and it's on a piece of glass so we can, transparent, we can set it on the microscope stage and simply image cells growing for long periods of time. And then what we do with that is we get a ton of information about how many related cells are growing and we bring together mathematical modeling, engineering approaches, and biological approaches. And so in order to do that well, we actually have to work with other labs and other investigators, both in the Boston area and around the country. I was born and raised in Tucson, Arizona. I definitely didn't love science as a small child. I loved finding patterns in, in the world, and I loved to try and be creative. It wasn't until I hit maybe middle school and high school when I really started to love math and some of the extracurricular science activities like Science Olympiad and math competitions. I think it's important for students to remember that uh, learning the basic knowledge base that you have for any discipline doesn't really reflect what doing the work is like. And it's okay if you get a C in an introductory class to remember that that doesn't mean you're not good enough to do science and research, it just means that maybe you need to adapt your study techniques and that's really all there is to it. When I started my postdoc work, I started by watching how these bacteria that cause tuberculosis grow and it's something that not a lot of people had done before. And in the process, we were able to discover something new, and it resulted in a paper being published in Science, one of the top journals. It was really a great time for me and helped launch my career and the start of my own research group here at Tufts. Now it's really nice to be the principal investigators. I can be sitting in my office writing a grant or doing something and someone will come running to my office and grab me from my seat to bring me to the microscope and it's really fun to see them be so excited about something that they've just discovered. To be successful in science or at least to run a lab is a lot like running a small business. You want to work in an area where if you stop working, no one else is going to help solve that really important problem. What you also can do is assemble a team of really great supporters. Those individuals can really help you also find your voice and help be an advocate for you to navigate this world and get noticed. I think having a career in science and motherhood are actually, it's a really great pair um, because in science, you usually have the flexibility to allow you to go home when you need to be home. I had my baby during my postdoc, and I was really worried about whether I'd be productive or not. Um, and I think it really helped when my postdoc mentor suggested that I just, she didn't say lower my expectations, but be kinder to myself and understand that my world had kind of changed and that things would settle after a couple months, and she was absolutely right. I think a lot of the creative thinking that happens in science happens outside of the lab when you're doing other things like outside hiking, shopping, knitting, cooking, whatever you do outside of work is actually can be really productive time for your career as well. In the end I think I'm really happy being a working mom.